What you see in this image is a breadboard, which is conveniently designed for inserting discrete components like resistors and capacitors or integrated circuits, which have multiple connections there. The breadboard is laid out in a pattern whereby insert points two-tenths of an inch apart are designed so that they are all five in this line are connected so that when we insert an integrated circuit we then can connect each of those pins via the remaining four insert points here to other points on the breadboard. Or we can also insert discrete components from point to point like this. Normally these discrete components should be cut down so that the discrete components are close to the breadboard. The breadboard also has buses at the top and the bottom. The way the breadboard is actually constructed, if we look at the back of it with the paper torn off, we can see that these individual metal components have been manufactured. This is the top view again where the inserts come in from the top. On the bottom view you can see that each of these five insertion points are connected and the buses are connected.